Hello and welcome back. This is a segment where we talk to people in the industry that really matter. So today is the Blisco story. We have a representative from Blisco who's going to speak with us about the Blisco campaign here in Nigeria, some of the obstacles that they go through, some of their triumphs. Um, Monique, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and um, how you come about working with Blisco? Hello. Um, as you said, my name is Monique Riskus and I've been working for, for Vlisco Group for about seven years now. Uh, I started uh, uh, working for Vlisco in the DRC, the DR Congo, as a country okay. manager. Okay. Then a few years later, I moved to another position as a group director for brand protection. Oh, okay. And uh, that's why I'm here in Nigeria today. So you carry all the knowledge of Blisco, so we're going to learn so much from you. Can you tell us in a nutshell what Blisco is and what you represent? Blisco started in, uh, in 1846, mm -hmm. founded by uh, a man called Peter van Vlissingen, and he created a company, made a company called uh, Van Vlissingen and Co. Okay. And it was uh, shortened Vlisco. Exactly. It was in the year 1846. Okay. Uh, at that time, they were creating, um, um, they were cr producing um, fabric uh, based on the batik process uh, with wax. It was for the Indonesian market. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, that's and interesting. Fact. Then after a after few years, uh, the market came to was available for Africa right. and introduced uh, uh, the product to Africa with special designs and colors to fit the African market. Now, th the word that everyone knows when the first thing that comes to your mind when you mention Blisco is wax hollandaise. Did I say that right? Exactly. It's yes. wax in French. It's a French word, wax hollandaise, mm -hmm. uh, meaning Dutch wax. Okay. Uh, from came from its origin Holland. Right. So we call it wax hollandaise. I'll say wax hollandaise. Yeah, when you say wax hollandaise, when you say wax hollandaise, <laughs> you mean Blisco, Blisco fabric. So how exactly. can you tell um, a wax, an original wax hollandaise? Because that's, um, it's specific to Blisco. There's no other, you know, when you say wax hollandaise, everyone knows you're talking about Blisco. So how can you tell an original? First, you, you look at, see here we have a, a nice, beautiful yeah, fabric. This. You first look at the, 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 the sun that's... Uh, okay. The logo. The, much, yeah, yeah. The, the sun that has the VVH logo on it. Then another one that's really easy is through the number. Here you see there's, there's always, Visco product ah, always carry really? a, a, a design number on the salvage okay. that must always match the number that is on the label. Ah, so okay. these are two easy and quick ways to recognize a reel from... All right, ladies and gentlemen, did you hear what um, Monique just let us know? There's always an individual number yes. to, every fab to every fabric that should match the number on the... Exactly. Ah, that's exactly. very that's that's a smart. Very it's easy enough. That's a very easy one. Yes, I can imagine that um, counterfeit products are probably um, one of the major concerns for Blisco is the fabric is so popular in West and Central Africa. We are launching that, that campaign to empower consumer as we received a concern from consumer who are confronted to uh, copies and mm -hmm. counterfeit products and bearing our trademarks and logo. Right. Not only our designs but also our trademarks and logo on it. So that is making uh, life very difficult for a good faith consumer exactly. who really wants to get a, a Vlisco product uh, to a point of sale. So that is uh, a, a quite important for the consumer to know how to differentiate real from fake. Each Vlisco design uh, has copyright mm -hmm. and uh, each Vlisco design is protected. Right. It is not only a piece of fabric. Uh, Vlisco has, is a real work of art. Right. Each design goes through a process, very long process for it to be developed and to mature bearing Vlisco signature on it. Right. So uh, for a design to be on the, on the, on the design board, wow. it takes about six weeks for a designer to finish, to complete its design. So it's a real work of art right. that has copyright and is protected in the, country, in the cons consumption countries in Africa. So it's a, it, it has intellectual property mm -hmm. and uh, the design belongs to Vlisco, exclusively to Vlisco. And in order to uh, use that particular, a particular design, 
you have to have uh, you have to need to have authorization permission from Flisco for you to reproduce it or to to do even to do a, a line of clothing normally you should but um, here we want to talk about intellectual property Vlisco is the, the only right holder of Vlisco design and trademarks and like you touched on your your fabrics are always like a piece of art even some of the vintage fabrics from back in the day I remember my mom you know some of the amazing outfits she would make in the vibrant colors there's always you can always tell a Vlisco fabric from the colors is do you do something to them they're always richer and bolder and deeper do you have any I'm sure there's some kind of secret you guys mm. have over there in terms of color yes of course um, we do have a, a, a department a special department where we create mm -hmm. our own colors we create exactly. our own tones and combination of colors are all conceived by Vlisco. Right. So uh, where, where we have a, a beautiful piece of cotton, mm -hmm. we do um, uh, put place the colors. First, we place them in both ways. Okay. Yes, and uh, so different. You print on we both sides. We print on both sides, right. and we place colors on both, both sides. Ah, okay. So um, we also do have a technique where we place colors um, shade. Uh, after another one, it's called mm -hmm. superposition right. in French. So that pr that gives a specific, very strong color mm -hmm. that nobody can can even ma can ever match because exactly. it's quite specific and quite technical. So Nigeria, like you said, is one of your largest markets where where we consume a lot of Lisco over <laughs> yes, here. Yes. We only use the best. Yeah. <laughs> um, so where, where can we find um, authentic Blisco fabrics? The first thing I want to say when it comes to finding an authentic is to, to uh, bring awareness to consumers that they can find uh, a Vlisco design and a Vlisco logo together. Mm. So when a consumer finds a Vlisco design and a logo, he must check the authentication mm. points we will, ta we will explain, but it, that exists, so he must be, must be very careful, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, those authentic, uh, original Vlisco product can be found to um, dedicated shops. Right. Yes, you find a, a special logo outside and a, a dedicated, you will yeah. find a dedicated shops and the addresses are being communicated by our teams and on the brochures. Huh? Yeah. But uh, uh, we do have in Nigeria designated de de yeah, and dedicated um, where you can exactly, pick up uh, exactly, products. Exactly. Whenever Vilsco products arrive into the country, for example, mm -hmm. our collections right. that reach our countries every quarter. Whenever the products arrive in the countries for distribution, it um, provokes emotion right. to, the co to our consumers' hearts, and they, they baptize our, our designs, they give it names right. um, to express not only the emotion, but sometimes special events, cultural events that happen at that particular moment. Mm -hmm. And it is also a, a silent way of communicating, of sending a message. Uh, Vlisco uh, is closely linked to the culture of African consumer. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll just give an example. Um, the fabric I'm wearing, the design I'm wearing, is so beautiful. it is called uh, in French, tu sors, je sors, meaning a woman is, will wear it telling her husband, now if you go out, I, I will go also out. go out. Uh -huh. So it's a bird in a cage, oh, and, then and then the bird leaves the cage, the cage, saying, if you go out, I will go out. out. I will not be closed in the cage anymore. What a I will leave. woman empowerment statement you're wearing. It's exactly, beautiful. exactly. It is telling, is saying to her husband, well, don't go out. Oh, mm -hmm. let's go out together, but don't go out alone. Mm -hmm. I love this. I love how each of the fabrics has its own story and throughout the years these stories develop meanings in all of the consumers' lives and it's almost like um, almost um, you know almost like a piece of art that you wear every single day and um, you know I, I, it's it's amazing and it's uh, it's great what you what you continue to do in West Africa and Central Africa and all over the world. Well, Monique, thank you so much for joining us. It was a pleasure speaking with you today. Thank you, thank yeah, you. Yeah, hopefully you can come back on the show and uh, we can look at some, you know, Flisco fashions here in Lagos. Flisco, the true original since 1846.